heat. He's running out of energy and knows that it's now or never. He lunges forward, arms out in front of him, and attacks the face of the bear. This move brings the mega lion directly into the range of those powerful teeth and jaws, and the short-faced bear uses them to his full advantage. The mega bear will actually use wrestling moves in a fight, including trying to pin an opponent. This will render it harmless with the lowest risk of injury. He grabs the mega lion by the midsection, crunches down, cracking and breaking ribs, and then rips back. The mega lion roars in pain and then slumps to the ground. Figuring that the lion is unable to continue the fight, the short-faced bear turns his attention to the bison and begins to feed. Both of these mammals needed huge amounts of food to survive. The mega bear could consume up to 30 pounds of meat at a time. But would this meal be his last? The Ice Age has come to an end, and global warming has thrown the ecosystem of North America into utter chaos. Animals were forced to adapt, migrate, or die. Mass migration brought new diseases that indigenous creatures had no resistance to. With the food supply dwindling, even dominant predators could find themselves fighting for prey. Bison were one of the few herbivores that actually thrived in warmer temperatures. The grasslands expanded in the heat, offering them a larger food supply. The bear's attention is clearly on the bison. Its mind is no longer focused on the fight. Although the lion is down, he's certainly not out. The mega lion is most comfortable hunting at night. Like all cats, his large eyes gave him superior night vision. That does not help him now. The only hope the lion has is to crush the windpipe of the bear. If it can bite with enough force to penetrate that thick hide of the bear, he'll succeed in winning the day. The lion's long tail gives him added agility. Before the lion can reach the bear's throat, the bear is able to hold off the attacker with its arms. The lion tries in vain to grab the throat, but the bear is just too powerful. The Ice Age favored power over speed. Larger animals were better insulated. The lion is in excruciating pain from the force of the bear's throw, but he won't give up. Because of the lack of available food, his survival instincts won't allow him to turn tail and run, even though it seems like he's fighting a losing battle. He turns to face the bear and bellows a huge roar to send a clear message, this fight is to the death. The bear's roar would seem as loud as an oncoming train. a direct hit to the face of the bear. Temporarily blinded and disoriented, the bear loses its footing and crashes to the ground. This gives the lion the opening that it's been waiting for. The lion's senses are keen, even its whiskers, which could pick up vibrations. It can sense animals as small as a mouse in pitch darkness. The lion is desperate, and the only way it can win is to get to the throat. With the last remaining strength, he lunges towards the bear. The force of the impact knocks the bear backwards and the lion grabs the throat. The lion needed almost 40 pounds of meat a day to survive. Without it, the mega lion would quickly weaken. is able to regain his footing and towers over its rider. It throws the 750-pound mega lion with little effort. Unfortunately for the lion, the bear happens to throw it in the direction of the cave. The cave is over 85 feet deep. A deadly drop. It's a sheer drop to the bottom that nothing can survive. 
The herbivore bones that were found in the cave show no signs of predation. So this tells us that nothing that went into that cave lived to eat the bodies of the other victims. Although the cave meant certain death to animals, it would also yield groundbreaking benefits to paleontologists. The great thing about a cave is that it helps preserve the evidence because the bones aren't exposed to the normal elements that can erode the facts and alter the clues. But that's of little comfort to the animals who happen to fall into. Having claimed the life of the